So, two things. The one, you might be wondering why is this video going up on a Sunday. I didn't actually vlog about it. I'm having to change my schedule. So if you're not seeing that, then please go check that out. But basically, I've had to change the, the days I actually uh, vlog and upload for you guys just because of work. So if you didn't know, YouTube is not my job. It is a hobby. So I still will be doing two videos a week. So Wednesday is still going to be exactly the same. But instead of Saturdays, it's now going to be on Sunday. Hence why this one's going to be on Sunday. And my vlogs, instead of Monday, is now going to be on Friday. And the second thing is, I am ill. So I've actually had a cold for about four, maybe five days now. I have had a little bit of time off work because of it. Um, I'm not like seriously ill, it's just a common cold, but the, no one's going on in the world, obviously taking precautions, that's why I've had a bit of time off. So apologies if my voice sounds a bit off, or if I'm just not my usual self, like I said, I am ill. But I thought one of the best things to do when you're ill is to drink tea. Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shrine. So if you're new here, then twice a week I do videos. Now in my last few videos, I've had to delete them unfortunately, just on the basis of copyright claim. I did actually do another vlog about it. So just in case you click on a video and it says it's blocked, like I said, I have tried taking them down, but it still might show on my channel uh, or on some of my videos on the end cards. Obviously uh, it might still be on there. But like I said, I have actually uh, deleted them, but obviously like I said, they still might show on there. But yeah, so today I wanted to talk about tea. Now the reason I want to talk about tea is for one, I'm English, so of course I'm going to be drinking tea. And two, like I said, because I'm ill, one thing I like to do is obviously drink tea to obviously make myself feel better. So I thought now would be a perfect time to show you all the tea things that I have. So the first thing is obviously the tea itself. Now um, this one I actually got on eBay, but I have actually seen these in Epcot. So I don't know whether other places do them, but the only place I mainly saw this is in Epcot when you go to the English part, they actually do like an Alice in Wonderland part. So I've actually got this one here, which are tea bags. So this is actually a Cheshire Cat one. So this is the Topsy Turvy Tea Blend and this is black tea. Like I said, I did actually get this from eBay, but it is originally from the park. Like I said, I've not seen it anywhere else. So eBay, I would say, is the best place to get it if you can't get it at Epcot. But it does actually say on their Disney parks. So you obviously know it's authentic. It's still got the cellophane around it as well. But yeah, I just thought this was such a great thing. Like I said, if you're obviously into drinking tea, but you also like Disney well, I thought this was a great thing to, to get. This one just says medium flavor at uh, the strength of it so obviously there are different ones like I said this is just a black tea one so I think black tea some people do call it English tea which is basically you just put the tea bag in water and that's it normally when I drink tea I do tend to drink more fruit teas and say what I class as biscuit tea which is like a normal English tea you know it's got like milk and sugar and things like that in it but I call it a biscuit tea because it's one that you dunk your biscuits in because I find when it comes to fruit teas you can't really dunk a biscuit in fruit teas. So personally, I tend to drink more fruit teas than I do any other teas. But I just thought it was such a cool thing. Like I said, if you're into your teas, but you also like Disney, I like the fact that they actually have things like that for you guys. So going on to the actual teapots, or obviously if you've got loose tea. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is actually this one here. So this is actually for loose tea. So for example, the other one was a tea bag, whereas this one is for loose tea. Now this one I actually got from the Disney store last, I think it was last November, if I remember rightly. Um, so this was only six pounds, but it is a Beauty and the Beast tea infuser. So it's basically when you've got loose tea or even mint. So for example, if you've got like any mint grown or anything like that, you can obviously uh, put like the loose bits in there and then you just pull it in your um, mug. I've not actually used it yet, just on the basis that I don't actually have any loose tea at the moment. <laughs> All of my things are like tea bags, so at the moment I don't actually have any loose tea, but I just thought that was so cute because it's obviously the rose, and because it's got little holes, obviously it infuses that way. But I just thought that was super cute. Yet again, if you know someone who's really into their teas and obviously likes Disney, I thought this would be a perfect thing to, to get someone. But like I said, it's only six pounds, so it's not like two too expensive but at the moment like I said I've not used it but I was thinking of getting say like a mini plant and then taking off a few of the leaves and then putting it in there and doing it that way so the next ones are actually teapots. So the first one I'm going to show you is actually this one here. So this one is a Beauty and the Beast one. Now originally this was actually in Clinton's, but I actually got this one from a charity shop. I do remember seeing them in Clinton's when the obviously Beauty and the Beast, when the live action stuff, when all that came out. And I think if I remember rightly, it was around about twenty pounds. I didn't buy it because I thought oh, yeah, it's a little bit expensive. But then I was at shopping, saw it in a charity shop, and I think it was only like five pounds. I was like right, sold, want it, and I just. Think 
in the super kicks is actually got the teapot on top but then you've got the little cup underneath now it does actually say on there be our guest and that's actually on both sides as well um if i remember rightly i think you can get about two cups out of this i've not actually used this one yet um just because i've still got a normal kettle but i just think this is super cute just in case you want to do it the traditional way well obviously you want to obviously put a tea bag in there and then obviously use it like that but like I said, I was so lucky to get this at a charity shop, but I think the only place you could probably get this now is probably eBay, to be honest. So the next teapot, um, I actually <laughs> used this once because you can only get one drink out of this. And normally I like to have a couple drinks throughout the day, so it's just easier to just obviously do the kettle. But it's actually this one here, which is Aladdin's Lamp, but this actually came from Primark. Like I said, it is actually a uh, teapot, so obviously yet again you just put your tea bag in there, put hot water in there, that kind of thing. But I just thought this was super cute as like just a decoration, the fact that it's actually a Aladdin's lamp from the animated version, not the live action. But like I said, it is like it is a, a functioning thing. Like I said, you can put water in there. You do obviously pour it out, and obviously you know hot water comes out. For me, I used this, and I thought, okay, it's kind of cool, but you can only get like one drink out of it. So for me, it's more of a decoration thing. But I just like the fact that it's actually Aladdin's lamp, but I kind of feel like it's like to size. So I kind of feel like this is the size Aladdin's lamp would have been. I did actually get it a couple years ago, so I didn't get it when the live action. And Aladdin came out. I think I actually got it two, possibly three years ago. So I said the only place you get this now is probably eBay. Right, so the main thing you need when you're having tea are mugs. So I've grabbed a few of mine, I've grabbed a few of my husband's as well. So I'll go through Ruben's first. Um, some of these he has talked about on his uh, Disney for Do's playlist, so I will link it in the cards, which I think is that side. But one of the ones that he loves is actually this one here, which is his Robin Hood one. Now this one I actually got him from the Disney store. I did actually get this, I think about two years ago, if I remember rightly. So yeah, so this actually came from the Disney store. I did actually ask him this morning, no, I was going to do this video, and be like, babe, what's your favourite mug? And he's like, oh, I don't know. But he says the one he uses the most is this Robin Hood one. He doesn't necessarily say it's his favourite. It's just the one that he uses the most. So he just said that he liked it because obviously it's quite a big mug. Obviously it's like got a nice handle on it. I have actually done a video on mugs, which I will obviously link on the uh, the end cards for you. But yeah, like I said, he has talked about some of these in his own videos that he's got on his playlist. Now another one I actually got him, um, I think last year when the Lion King live action came out, Primark did um, loads of Lion King stuff. And one thing they did was actually this Timon mug. So I actually got this for Ruben, even though Pumba is his favourite, but unfortunately he didn't do any Pumba mugs, so that's why I got him this Timon one. Now, in my mugs uh, video I did, I think, two years ago, <laughs> I think that's how long ago it was, because I was in my old house, so it must have been over a year, because we've been here a year, so I know it's definitely over a year, so probably a year and a half. I did actually say that these are really difficult to clean, because I do actually have some other ones, I think I talked about my Thumper one and my Marine mug, because where these bits stick out, it's really difficult to clean, like, in Side. So for example, if you've had a hot chocolate or if you've had like a coffee, that kind of thing, it can be really difficult to clean to the point where sometimes it stains. So I would just say take that consideration, obviously when it comes to cleaning these, sometimes you do actually have to soak them. Like I said, I do actually have quite a few of these. So Disney store them, like I said, Primark do them. Um, I've noticed that as they're doing, for example, um, Ruben's actually got a Rex one from Toy Story. So there are a few different ones you can get. But yeah, this one primarily actually came from Primark. So speaking of Asda, so one of the ones that I got was actually this one here. Now unfortunately, it's so difficult to drink out of. So I actually got this one, like I said, from um, Asda. Put hot chocolate in it like I normally do. But the thing is, because where you drink where a hair is, it kind of gets in the way. So when you're drinking, I kind of felt like... It, I don't know, it kind of felt like it was spilling, so for me personally it was a bit uncomfortable to drink out of, so this one I primarily use as decoration. Uh, the funny thing was, this is the only character they have, I haven't seen any other ones in Asda, so I don't know whether, say certain stores did certain characters, or whether I was just lucky enough to get this one, because if you didn't know, Belle is actually my favourite princess, so I was like, yes, I really want this one. Like I said, this did actually come from Asda, which if you're in America, uh, Walmart is your version of Asda. But, like I said, I can't really drink out of it, so for me personally, this is definitely like a decorative one. But, one I do love drinking out of, like I don't know if you're like me, when 
like when you're ill or if you really want a hot chocolate or if you, you know you have certain mugs for certain things for me personally um i love these kind of mugs when i'm ill i don't know why i associate them with obviously when i'm ill so i always drink these ones in my last mug haul, I did actually talk about my Aurora one, but I thought this time I'd actually talk about my Little Mermaid one. Now, with Disney Store, this is where I came from, did actually did a whole range of these. Um, the only downside, these are really expensive. I think these were like £18. I've not been in Disney Store recently to know what kind of mugs they've got at the moment, but they did like a whole range of these. So I've got the Aurora one, and like I said, I've got this one as well. But I just think these are super cute, just on the basis that it's quite like detailed pattern. Obviously, most of the handles would be their hair as well. And I do like the fact that they've actually got the signature of the princess inside but i just associate these ones as like getting better so it's almost like a placebo effect like if obviously i'm ill and i put my fruit tea in this normally like at the moment i'm drinking like lemon and ginger teas um so i have like you know my lemon and ginger in here so i kind of associate it with me getting better so kind of like i said placebo effect it kind of makes me feel better known as in a certain mug like i said this one in my um aurora one is kind of my get well mug kind of mugs <laughs> um, i did get it probably about two maybe three years ago so i want to say the best place probably at the moment is ebay but like i said disney are always bringing up new mugs all the time it's just at the time that's the ones that i got was that one and the aurora one it's not like i didn't like the bell one it's just because i've got a lot of bell mugs i wanted to get some other characters and i quite like the design of those ones so it's not like i didn't want the bell one it was just like oh my god i've actually got quite a lot of bell i should probably try and get some other princess ones Right, so to go with that are coasters. Now, one of the coasters I was going to talk about, I've actually left downstairs, but I did actually talk about it in my Genie video that I did like a month ago or something. So I will link it in the cards. I'm pretty sure it's that side. So from Primark, I actually got um, an Aladdin set. And like I said, I did actually talk about them in my Genie video. Um, but I thought I'd talk about some of the other ones that I've got, the other coasters. So one of them is actually this one here. Now, this one actually lives up here. So this is one that actually goes on my desk. This actually did come from the Disney store but I've actually had this for a long time like I think probably about 10 years now the reason I want to wear this like I said it's from the Disney store so they kind of do still do stuff like this anyway but eBay if not um this one I like because it's quite sturdy so like I said it lives up here on my desk and I also like the fact it's got the little sort of stoppers on there so just in case like you said you have it somewhere you put your mug down at least you know with something like this obviously it's not going to fall over and like I said this one actually came from the Disney store originally so it does actually say Disney store exclusive I have no idea how much it was I think I remember rightly it was actually a present so I wouldn't have known anyway but like I said I've had this like it's probably a good 10 years I would say I've had this so my most recent ones I bought are actually these ones here. Now these are super cute. So these are like little zoom zoom type ones. Now these ones I did actually get from eBay and these are kind of the like more rubbery ones. So these actually live downstairs um, in the front room. So obviously when I have people over, I think they're kind of cute just to kind of have as a like, decoration anyway. So even if you don't use them, the fact they kind of look cute. Um, if I remember rightly, they do actually have other characters, but I primarily want these two because I thought, you know, match and set. But if I remember right, they do have other characters as well. But like I said, I did actually get these from eBay so they weren't too difficult to get hold of. I think they're only about two or three pounds, so yet yeah, again, not too expensive. But if you just type in like Disney coasters on eBay, loads of stuff comes out. Hashtag not sponsored, not sponsored by eBay. So some of the other ones I did actually get were actually from Primark, but I guess I left them downstairs and I just can't be bothered to go downstairs and get them. <laughs> so you've got your tea bags, you've got your tea, you've got your mugs, you've got your coasters. The next thing is biscuits. You cannot have a tea without biscuits. So the ones that I've got are actually these two here. So this one actually is Animal Crackers, which I actually got from the park. So this is actually from Animal Kingdom. And then this one here is the Frozen ones, which I actually got from Poundland. So obviously a bit of a difference, obviously where you can get them from. So this one actually got like a set from Animal Kingdom. So when me and Ruben actually went on a honeymoon, we actually went to Disney Florida. So obviously we went there for three weeks and I got these ones. These ones were actually quite cheap, in my opinion, for a park item. I think they were only about 3 or $4, which I thought was really good. Obviously, it's still got them in. I'm not going to open them. I'm not going to eat them. It does actually say, um, it does actually say best before March 2019. So, they're only almost a year out of date. But I just like the fact it's actually got Simba on there, because we didn't know Lion King is my favourite film. But I just like the fact, like I said, it is actually a Disney park. So, I like this, I would say, if you can't get it in the parks anymore, 
eBay, yet again, would be the best place to get them from. But just in case you can't go to the parks, they do also do stuff like this. So this actually came out at Christmas time, obviously when Frozen 2 was like everywhere. Like I said, I did actually get this from uh, Poundland, but I have seen other ones since. So I actually bought two of these. One I actually opened, and then this one has actually still got them in there. Now this one out of date. Oh, actually it's still in date. So this actually goes out of day, March 2021. But I like the fact that the actual biscuits themselves actually have pictures on them. Oh my god, my nose. Right, I'm going to have to end the video here because my nose is going. I'm, I was hoping to do more videos today for you guys. But I think I might have to leave it there. Just because like I said, I am suffering from a cold. I've had it for about four days now. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe and click the bell notification. So you get notified when all my videos go up. And I'll see you guys next time. Later days.